universe was dark long ago, about 400,000 years after the Big Bang when it all began. The cosmos was primarily composed of neutral hydrogen gas, with no stars or galaxies. The densest regions of gas were then gradually drawn together over the course of the following 50 to 100 million years by gravity, until eventually the gas collapsed in some places to create the very first stars. What kind of stars were they? And when did they form? What impact did they have on the rest of the universe? Astronomers and astrophysicists have long considered these issues. The vast universe holds many secrets, and the James Webb Space Telescope is on a mission to uncover some of them. Recently, astronomers have used this powerful telescope to find a new galaxy known as JWSTER-1. This recently discovered object is categorized as a large, compact, inactive galaxy. The record-breaking halo of warped light, which is a whopping 21 billion light-years away, is unusually perfect and surrounds a mysteriously dense galaxy. Join us today as we explore more about this amazing discovery done by the James Webb Space Telescope. The term giant elliptical galaxies describes large circular galaxies that have long captivated scientists and space enthusiasts. It is believed that these galaxies change shape throughout time. They fluctuate between being large and sometime entirely different. These massive quiescent galaxies are crucial to understanding galaxy evolution. These galaxies produced stars less frequently and quickly gained their stellar masses. As a result, researching them can offer invaluable knowledge about how galaxies evolve. Using the near-infrared camera of the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers successfully spotted JWSTER-1. The redshift of this new galaxy is 1.94 and its radius is roughly 21,500 light years. It is a massive, quiescent galaxy with a low star production rate that is 1.9 billion years old. Although there are multiple known Einstein rings, complete ones like this one are quite rare. The study also showed that JWSTER-1 is almost perfectly round, without any evident star-forming regions, tidal tails, or NERCAM image-based irregularities. This achievement was a part of the Cosmos Webb Project. The Cosmos Webb Project uses the James Webb Space Telescope to map the earliest cosmological structures. The project's objectives include studying up to a million galaxies and increase our knowledge of the reionization era, which took place between 200,000 and 1 billion years after the Big Bang. In the first two billion years, identify and characterize early massive galaxies in the first two billion years and to study how dark matter has evolved with the stellar content of galaxies. With the near-infrared camera equipment and the mid-infrared equipment, Cosmos Web will map 0.6 square degrees of the sky. This project is designed to eliminate cosmic variants and result in an order of magnitude more early universe galaxies than all other Hubble Plus Webb surveys combined. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured images of this farthest instance of a Einstein ring. A rare variety of gravitationally lensed object called an Einstein ring was predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. When a black hole or cluster of galaxies bends space-time around them due to their mass, gravitational lensing occurs. As a result, light from nearby galaxies or supernova that is traveling through this curved space-time appears bent and distorted to the observer. Similar to how a magnifying glass works, this effect magnifies the object being lensed enabling astronomers to examine faraway objects in greater detail 
than is often possible. The majority of gravitationally lensed objects take the shape of arcs, but the true Einstein ring forms a complete circle around the object. For example, if two galaxies are aligned with the Earth and one is placed behind the other, the gravitational lensing observed will take the form of an Einstein ring. Interestingly, Einstein rings can be used to observe distant objects in more detail. Light is magnified when it is bent by gravity, giving the impression that objects are closer and larger. Gravitational lensing is used by large telescopes like Hubble and James Webb to observe distant objects in far greater detail than would otherwise be possible. JWSTER1 is a full Einstein ring that was discovered in this latest Webb finding. It was discovered by creating a precise map of more than 500,000 galaxies over the course of 200 hours of continuous James Webb observations. JWSTER1 is made up of two parts. JWSTER1G, a compact galaxy that serves as the lensing object in the foreground, and JWSTER1R, the light from a galaxy farther away that creates a luminous ring. The distance between JWSTER1G and Earth is around 17 billion light years while JWSTER1R is another 4 billion light years away, or 21 billion light years. This is not the first real Einstein ring that Webb has found. The farthest object found up to this point was a ring, which was located at a distance of roughly 14.7 billion light years. The universe is thought to be 13.7 billion years old, but because it is constantly expanding, the light from the oldest objects must travel much farther to reach our telescopes. The researchers were able to compute the lens galaxy's mass and measure how much the galaxy distorts space-time, thanks to galaxy's entire ring. This galaxy is extraordinarily dense for its size, with a mass equal to around 650 billion suns. Some of this mass could be explained by dark matter, but even so, it is unlikely that there will be enough stellar mass to explain the rest of the galaxy's mass. One of the best ways to prove the presence of dark matter is gravitational lensing. Dark matter is a mysterious form of matter that doesn't interact with other types of matter through chemical processes or light. Dark matter has only been found to produce a gravitational field so far. Gravitational lensing results from the warping of space's fabric caused by dark matter's gravity, which is similar to that of normal matter. It's amazing that gravitational lensing can be used to calculate the mass of distant objects. The strength of gravity will determine how much gravitational lensing occurs, and the amount of mass in the universe affects the strength of gravity. Thus, scientists can determine the strength of gravity and the amount of mass by measuring the amount of gravitational lensing. When this is done for large galaxy clusters, the amount of mass present far exceeds the amount that is visible. Dark matter is that missing mass, and gravitational lensing can even be used to calculate the amount of dark matter in the universe. In the universe, dark matter makes up around 27% of the total matter. These old stars are so enormous because they share characteristics with other galaxies of the same age and density which has been observed. These galaxies may have a lot more dark matter than was anticipated, according to one explanation, while another contends that they may have more low-mass stars than newborn galaxies. Further observations of JWSTER1 are proposed to investigate whether nearby galaxies or structures along the line of sight contribute to its mass. Researchers are also trying to figure out if the galaxy is a parent cluster's main galaxy. This finding expands the field of study and advances our knowledge of the development of massive galaxies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.